There we go. Not too bad. Took it down, trying a new area. Morning, guys. Deuces Wild Fishing Charters here, guys. We're on the water today, and of course, we're doing uh, my favorite technique, uh, dragging for catfish. I'm covering water. Uh, whenever I don't have clients, I always come out here and I do something new or I cover water uh, to find new areas to fish and location of new fish, right? So today I'm doing uh, an area I've fished before, but I've never fished this pattern before. There's a lot of humps and depth changes and everything along uh, this part of the river, so I go ahead and I drag. In order to drag, you guys need to use a really good uh, dragging sinker. I've used a whole bunch of different sinkers over the years, and my favorite so far that I've been using now is called Drift Sticks with an X. I don't know if you guys can see that. And there's multiple sizes, guys. Um, there is multiple sizes, lengths. This one's a four ounce or three, three and three point seven five. Uh, this one is a, a little bit shorter. Uh, same, same weight. But what happens here, guys, is all these different, uh, different styles of drift sticks. This one happens to be. A 1.75. Sorry, guys, if I haven't caught a fish in a while, I'm sure a rod's gonna go down here in a minute. This one's 1 1.75, but there's all kinds of different styles. Uh, go to Drift Sticks with an X.com or message me, and I'll send you the link and hook you up. I'll also put uh, the link at the bottom here in the description of the video. So um, the different different drift sticks are great so this one 1.75 very thin very small very light it has a different rattle to it uh, this one here is a little bit longer it's uh, I believe a 3.75 or something just under four ounces it has smaller BBs makes a little bit different different noise to it um, this one actually has really bigger beads inside of it, it makes a whole different noise guys what I'm dragging uh, or or pulling baits with boards and stuff. Man, the more racket that I can make down there with uh, my weights banging the bottom, uh, the more attention I'm gonna bring to my bait. So uh, I really like these. They're great. Um, they, they really bounce over structure really well. And I'm very, uh, very impressed with the different sizes. For instance, I use the big heavy ones on rods like these that go straight out the back of the boat help keep the bait down but when I want to use my planter boards I want to get a really good spread uh, I'll use maybe a longer thinner one that's you know uh, just about two ounces and it really keep it still keeps that bait down but it's a lot lighter bounces a little bit uh, better and it also allows so you're not pulling so much weight down it also allows the planter board to spread out farther so let me show you uh, how I rig these real quick so of course I have my uh, swivel I have my leader to my hook, circle hooks, whatever you need. Then what I do is most of the time I'll put a sinker slide on here. And then I will clip my drift stick on there. Um, and that way, because of the sinker slide and the, and the quick snap here, I can change any drift stick size uh, sinker that I need. So again, check them out, uh, drift sticks with an X. Dot com or uh, I will put it down in the description. I will put their link. Message me. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about rigging. Let me know. I will. I will help you out. But uh, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, uh, check out our website. Uh, go to the Recent Trips tab at the top, and it'll show you the most uh, the most recent trips we've had, past trips. Click on the photo, see additional photos of the day that we were out there fishing, a little description of the day and, and how we're doing on the water. Check you guys out later. Tight lines.